Father President James Burns, IVD, PhD, members of the Board of Trustees, faculty, program directors, staff, administrators, spouses, partners, children, friends, and members of this graduating class, good evening, and welcome to the first ever St. Mary's University of Minnesota's School of Graduate and Professional Programs Virtual Commencement Convocation. I'm Dr. Brian Schmisek, Provost and Dean of Faculties of the University, and I will serve as Master of Ceremonies. Students, your parents, spouses, partners, family, and friends, together with the faculty, administration, and staff of the university, rejoice with you in your achievement of this great milestone. I fully realize and empathize with you that this version of your graduation ceremony is not what you envisioned when you came to St. Mary's. That's true for all of us. However, given our current reality, we're genuinely happy and deeply grateful that we can come together virtually to celebrate your many successes. We are incredibly proud of the resilience, the dedication, the strength, and the spirit you've exemplified throughout your degree program, but especially so over these past three months. At this commencement convocation, we will be conferring bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees in the School of Business and Technology, in the School of Education, and in the School of Health and Human Services. We hold commencement convocations five times each year. In addition to today's ceremony, we have commencement ceremonies in January and October in the schools of graduate and professional programs. On our Winona campus, we have a commencement ceremony in May, and at our Mandeville, Jamaica campus, we have commencement each September. Those of you graduating in this ceremony are part of a large and growing St. Mary's University of Minnesota global family. This indeed is a joyous event. Whether in person or virtually, we celebrate a chapter in your life journey, a chapter that has not only challenged you intellectually, but in every other way. Our university's holistic approach to higher education has provided you with the opportunity to develop many talents that I know you'll share with others on your personal and professional journey as a graduate of St. Mary's University of Minnesota. We all have looked forward to this day. Your family and friends, as well as the faculty, administration, and staff of the university rejoice with you in this great achievement. As adult learners who've returned to further your education, your accomplishments take on even greater significance when we consider the many responsibilities each of you has managed in order to complete your education. The time away from family, loved ones, and friends, although challenging, I know will prove its worth in the days and years ahead. Brother Stephen Markham, a member of the President's Cabinet and Vice President for Mission and Ministry, will offer the invocation. Brother Stephen. Let us pause to recall that we always and everywhere live in the holy presence of God. 19th century Swiss Reformed theologian Karl Barth once said, when you pray, you should hold your Bible in one hand and the newspaper in the other. No doubt today he might say your Bible in one and cell phone in the other. From the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter three, verse one and two, we read, there is an appointed time for everything and a time for every affair under the heavens. The time is now for us to seek ways to comfort and support those who suffer around the world, especially the victims of the dreaded and deadly COVID-19 pandemic, the tragic injustice and violence we've witnessed in our own South Minneapolis neighborhood just weeks ago in particular, the killing of Mr. George Floyd, the loss of property and the livelihoods in our local neighborhood and throughout the world. We pray for the Floyd family and all those suffering because of blatant injustice and tragic violence. All living God, we lift up to you our fears and anxieties and the suffering of all those so directly affected. 
While Ecclesiastics acknowledges that there is a time to weep and a time to mourn, today is also a time to celebrate, congratulate, and give thanks to God for you, the St. Mary's University of Minnesota Class of 2020. We praise God and give thanks for your hard work, your great accomplishments, your patience, your understanding, and your persistence as you navigated the unforeseen circumstances of these past months. We pray in thanksgiving to God for the class of 2020, for the lasting friendships you have formed, for the St. Mary's community you have helped to form, for the knowledge you have gained and shared, as well as for the hopes and dreams you take with you. Loving and merciful God, bless each of these graduates with the graces of steadfast hope and determined fortitude, allowing them to confidently pursue their dreams, knowing that they are not alone, that they are loved, and that at all times and in all adventures, they live in God's holy presence. Amen. Thank you, Brother Stephen. Mr. Terrence Russell, Chair of the Board of Trustees of St. Mary's University of Minnesota will offer an official welcome. Mr. Russell. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, welcome to this virtual commencement ceremony for St. Mary's University of Minnesota. We offer our congratulations to all of you who will be receiving your degrees today. I know this day may be bittersweet for you, I'm sure you are happy and proud about the successful completion of your journey at St. Mary's, but a bit sad about your inability to celebrate this day with your friends, your family, your cohorts, your faculty, and the broader St. Mary's community. We trustees want you to know how very proud we are of you for persevering in these very difficult times. The education you received has the power to transform your life. It is a precious gift made possible by the support of your families and friends, the benefactors of this university, and most importantly, by the truly inspiring and motivating people who work at St. Mary's. I'm quite certain that you all have met a few inspirational life changers during your time at St. Mary's. They are the men and women who were inspired by St. John Baptist de La Salle, the founder of the De La Salle Christian Brothers, and the patron saint of educators. They have worked to make your education accessible, relevant, and to help your academic dreams come true. And now, as you leave St. Mary's, it is your turn to follow in De La Salle's footsteps and embody the La Salle Catholic mission of St. Mary's to lead ethical lives of service and leadership. If I may, I would like to share a part of a meditation written by Blessed John Henry Cardinal Newman, which seems particularly appropriate for today. God has created me to do him some definitive service. He has committed some work to me, which he has not committed to another. I have my mission. I may never know what it is in this life, but I shall be told it in the next. I am a link in a chain a bond of connection between persons. He has not created me for nothing. I shall do good. I shall do his work. We wish to congratulate all of you and your families as well. Thank you, Mr. Russell. At this time, we would like to honor seven of our graduating students with outstanding final paper awards. As part of the conclusion of their degree program, students are required to complete a capstone project. The final paper is the culmination of the capstone. In the case of doctoral students, the culmination is the dissertation. The faculty members of each degree program, in consultation with the program director, recommend candidates for this award. The deans select those to be honored with the outstanding final paper, grad paper, or outstanding dissertation award. I'm happy to announce our recipients. Tin An Duong, School of Business and Technology, MS in Accounting, 
with a grad paper titled General Mills. Sherilyn Hale, School of Education, EDD and Leadership, with a dissertation titled A Qualitative Multi-Case Case Study of How Philanthropic Multi-Generational Families in Canada Govern Their Non-Foundational Philanthropy, A New Model for Family Philanthropy Governance. Shelley Marie Evers, School of Education, MA in Education, Wisconsin, with a grad paper titled Differentiation in Kindergarten Instruction Inaugurated the National Board Certification Process. Ryan Matthew Paul Pomplin, School of Health and Human Services, BS in Public Health, with a final paper titled Barriers to Accessing Oral Health Care for Low-Income Children. Gina Marie Danucci, School of Health and Human Services, MA in Counseling and Psychological Services, with a grad paper titled, The Impact of Screen-Based Media on Adolescent Well-Being. Noel Christine Frost, School of Education, MA in English as a Second Language, with a grad paper titled, Connecting Reflection and Self-Regulation in Middle School ESL Students. Jesse Michael Lowther, School of Business and Technology, BS in Business Administration, with a final paper titled, Professional and Academic Development. Congratulations to each of you, a job well done. At this time, five of today's candidates for graduation will briefly share their reflections with us. Jasmine Vasquez, MA, Marriage and Family Therapy. Lisa Henlon, EDD, Leadership. Laura Dickstall, BS, Business Administration. Terry Ann Lott, MA, English as a Second Language. And Ryan Bajan, MED, Teaching and Learning. When you first began your program, what challenges did you imagine you would face? I'm sure we all thought about the academic rigor and about balancing school with other obligations in our lives, whether that's family, work, friends, all of the above and more. I'm also sure that each of us has experienced challenges we never anticipated we would face. Something that I've learned that has given me resilience through the challenges I've experienced is to listen to my internal voice. I really think that deep down, we know when to ask for help, when to take a break and do some self-care, and what we need. I believe that learning to hear that voice and honor it has helped me find my direction and stay on course when I've found roadblocks on my path. I hope that if you haven't yet, you'll take some time to practice listening to that internal wisdom, which I think will guide you to what's the next right thing for you. I also believe it's vitally important to honor our successes. Graduates, I hope each of you are able to find a way to not only celebrate getting your degree, but to acknowledge the obstacles you've overcome and all of your personal growth along the way. For many of us, graduating, now more than ever, is a step into the unknown, but here we are, having overcome every challenge we've encountered and still successfully completing our programs. We've come so far, and I know this is only the first step to so many successes. It's time to see what we can do. My name is Lisa Henlin, a graduate of the Doctor of Education in Leadership. I consider it a signal honor to have been nominated to offer this brief reflection on behalf of the class of 2020. I should have known that when I experienced tears in a group discussion and explored the radical concepts of dialogue, communication, power and truth that our tenure at St. Mary's University of Minnesota would not have been an ordinary one. Our journey has been as delightful as it has been demanding, as testing as it has been transformative. We acknowledge the support of our family members and friends, but we take this opportunity to also recognize the commitment of faculty and staff who by their encouraging words, sincere concern, and the patience of Job were totally invested in our success. Indeed, we could not have experienced a true demonstration of the Lasallian ethic, and it has been our privilege to have been on the receiving end of it all. Against the backdrop of a world in the throes of the COVID-19 pandemic, 
as well as the death of George Floyd and subsequent protests, we acknowledge the influence and the challenge of the liberating experiences shared in the classroom, and also the research undertaken as we determine how we can enhance, enrich, and then transform the spaces we occupy. May all our futures testify to that. Congratulations, class of 2020. We have made history by participating in a virtual graduation. God bless you all. I was sitting there in my first class at the very back of the room, heart pounding, mind racing. What did I get myself into, I thought. Next thing you know, I looked down at my arms and I had hives. How am I going to make it through this entire bachelor's program when I can't even make it five minutes in my first class? Well, here I am. I made it. We all did. Late nights, strong cups of coffee, all while some of us still worked full time and cared for our families. I know that when we started this journey, we certainly didn't think that we would be graduating during a worldwide pandemic. This year has been a roller coaster of emotions. Today, though, I feel proud, honored, excited, and hopeful. Proud of our class for pushing through our last classes this year, even when we didn't know what tomorrow would bring. Honored to have been a student at SMUMN, full of a faculty committed to helping students succeed and accomplish their academic and career goals. Excited and hopeful for the future. Each and every one of us may not know what the immediate future will bring. Some of our plans may have changed. We have opened several new doors that can lead to endless possibilities. Our career options have expanded. We can start setting and accomplishing new goals. We have worked hard for this. We made it. We are stronger for it, and we will do great things. Class of 2020, congratulations. I wish you all the very best. Greetings to the class of 2020, students, family, faculty, and friends. My name is Terri Ann Lott, and I'm graduating from the Master of Arts, English as a Second Language program to become a teacher here in our education system. You know, as I sat and reflected on these last past two years here at St. Mary's University of Minnesota and the way this has all come to an end, I couldn't help but come to the conclusion that my life is bigger than just me. Our lives are bigger than just us. See, let me explain. On the day that I went to go take my state licensure's test, my mother shared the story with me of my grandfather who had a love for biology, but was never afforded the opportunity to explore that field simply because he was black. She shared the story of my grandmother who was robbed of the opportunity to compete at the state championships with her debate team simply because she was black. She also told me the story of my great grandmother who prayed for me before I was even thought of. You see, I'm a manifestation of all of their hard work, sacrifice, and love. My life is bigger than just me. For the past two years here at St. Mary's University of Minnesota, I have been reminded of the official mission statement that says, St. Mary's University of Minnesota awakens, nurtures, and empowers learners to ethical lives of service and leadership. The mission statement has reverberated itself throughout the rigorous coursework as we have been challenged to think critically, afforded opportunities to study abroad and gain new perspective, and given the tools to become leaders in our respective fields for those around us and who we serve. Our life is bigger than just us. As we, the graduating class of 2020, who have survived a global pandemic and witnessed a worldwide rebellion right before our eyes, there is very little that we cannot achieve being a student here at St. Mary's University of Minnesota. Making it to this moment symbolizes 
more than attaining another degree. It symbolizes our commitment to a lifelong pursuit of continued learning. I challenge the class of 2020 to continue to be the change that we want to see. Our lives are bigger than just us. Congratulations. Bonjour. Ryan and Dijana Kaz. Main gun in the goge of Bwemong. Makwa nindun dame. Unamini zaga gining nindun jaba. Robinson zaga gining ninda ah. Hello, I am Ryan Bajan. In the Ojibwe language, I am known as Timberwolf. I am of the Bear Clan, the Lake Vermilion Anishinaabeg. My elders teach me that whenever I introduce myself, it must be in this way. I am a recent graduate of the Master's in Education program at St. Mary's University. Much of what we accomplished in the past couple years is about our own journey. We worked hard made sacrifices, thought about giving up, and likely questioned what we were doing at times. Journeys are not easy. They are what make us transform into who we need to be. For those of you who are a part of this year's graduating class, I commend you for staying committed, seeking to become your best self, in probably some of the most challenging moments of your life. Over the course of the past two years, I have had the opportunity to build relationships with other professionals in my field and, and grow in ways I had yet to know. Some of these relationships will become lifelong and for that I am grateful. As we live in the unfolding of our future, Maybe your experience helped you gain clarity about who you are and what is important in the days to come. Knowledge and skills are gifts. And it is the acting on our responsibility to those gifts that creates change in the world. May your responsibility be clear and may you do great things with the gifts you have been given. Congratulations, St. Mary's of Minnesota, class of 2020. Miigwech. Thank you, Jasmine, Lisa, Laura, Terry Ann, and Ryan. It's now my distinct honor and high personal privilege to introduce to you Father James Burns, IVD, PhD, President of St. Mary's University of Minnesota, who will offer his remarks. Father Burns. I truly appreciate this opportunity to extend my most sincere greetings, along with a warm personal and university welcome to our virtual commencement celebration. In spite of all the challenges we have faced as a community in the past four months, from the coronavirus to economic challenges, to the events surrounding the death of Mr. George Floyd, and knowing that some challenges remain ahead of us, I am very confident that our graduates at St. Mary's will continue to join the ranks of outstanding alumni who will make of us a stronger, more resilient institution, one that is deeply indebted to you and others for what you have shared. Thank you, graduates. Your drive, determination, and dynamism will serve you well. This is especially true because you have been so committed to the St. Mary's community and have aided one another during these difficult days, weeks, and months. This evening, we come together filled as we are with hope and joy, celebrating and recognizing your many contributions and hard-won accomplishments achieved here. Being with you tonight to congratulate all of you on your educational growth achieved during your time at St. Mary's brings to mind two words. The words are preparation and expectation. They are fitting words for us to ponder at graduation. Our university patron, St. John Baptist de La Salle, reminds each of us that we have received talents and graces from God. Generations of St. Mary's graduates have used the talents and graces they have received for the benefit of others and I encourage you to do the same. 
What a gift to give to the world. All of this suggests preparation, including the preparation that you have received during your time here at St. Mary's. This time of education was set aside in your life to strengthen your talents and to hone the graces that you have received from God. It has also prepared you to be successful workers, good neighbors, ethical citizens, and the leaders you hope to be. With that hope comes expectations. Perhaps it is an expectation that seems a bit dimmed right now as all of you, our graduates, might understandably feel a degree of ambivalence, ambivalence about all that surrounds us, including the fact that you commence virtually this evening. Even the excitement of the accomplishments you have achieved during your time at St. Mary's is likely mixed with some uncertainty about the future. Yet this is normal now, I would argue, perhaps more than ever. But as you know, expectation also suggests anticipation of the good things that lie ahead. And it makes sense that you would have great expectations as you look toward your future. We share these with you. In fact, that sense of expectation underlies all of our efforts at St. Mary's as we continue to implement our strategic plan entitled Building a Future Full of Hope. This is a shared and communal hope that doesn't end at graduation, but one that invites you to continue to be part of a hope-filled education for life. We know that our hope-filled plan will also allow us to continue to welcome new students as members of our community. It is this hope-filled plan that undergirds the strengthening of our identity, the deepening involvement we share in our local communities, the improvement we witness in our academic standing, and the commitment we have to our partnership, signaling that St. Mary's is here for the long term. This is a bright light we need to keep in mind, especially now. As a university community grounded as we are in our LaSallean Catholic identity, we look toward the future with this shared, hope-filled expectation for all good and many blessings. I wish each of you and your families these blessings. As you graduate from St. Mary's, I know you will face new challenges, questions, and decisions. Yet through it all, may you keep faith in your own future, one full of hope. Know we remain here ready to help and support you in that. Congratulations and welcome to the next stage of your life. May God bless you. St. John Baptist de La Salle, pray for us and live Jesus in our hearts forever. Thank you, Father Burns. We've now arrived at the moment, the moment each of you has been anticipating since you began your studies, the conferral of your degree. I invite you now to watch your screen as our 2020 St. Mary's candidates for graduation are featured. We've created three separate videos for each of our schools, business and technology, education, and health and human services, identical in every other way except for our graduates who are listed by school and then by degree program in alphabetical order by last name.
The School of Business and Technology congratulates our new Bachelor of Science graduates. Congratulations, everybody. All of us are very proud of your accomplishment. 122 credits is a major accomplishment. This truly has been a journey and now you've reached your destination of earning your Bachelor of Science degrees. We're very proud of you, congratulations. Congratulations!
Congratulations from the School of Business and Technology graduate programs. Be courageous, be bold, and be your best. We will miss you. Congratulations. Congratulations. The DBA community celebrates our new doctoral graduates. Congratulations, Dr. Wei Zhang. Congratulations, Dr. Anthony Naguma. We are proud of your accomplishments. We hope you take your new research skills and your new writing skills. Discover new questions and new research. We hope you take a healthy dose of the Lasallian spirit through all your new adventures. And most importantly, we hope you use your doctoral education for good. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations.
Father Burns, upon the recommendation of the faculty, deans, program directors, and administration of the schools of graduate and professional programs, and with the approval of the Board of Trustees, I present to you for your approval candidates for bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees on this day, July 17, 2020, the 231st year since the founding of the Republic and the 108th year since the founding of St. Mary's University of Minnesota. Do you accept? I do. Now that you are all official graduates of St. Mary's University of Minnesota, it's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Ryan Pajak, an alumnus of the undergraduate class of 2004 and a 2010 graduate from our schools of graduate and professional programs, as well as the new president of our St. Mary's Alumni Association, for a word of welcome on the occasion of your joining that distinguished group. Mr. Pajak. Congratulations to you, graduates of the St. Mary's University of Minnesota Schools of Graduate and Professional Programs. You are now part of a network of more than 50,000 living alumni from our St. Mary's undergraduate and graduate programs. In your professional and personal lives, you will be amazed at how often you will cross paths with other St. Mary's alumni. You will undoubtedly find that St. Mary's alumni share a special connection that spans generations, degrees, and even continents. Welcome to this valuable and really amazing network. The purpose of the Alumni Association is to grow and strengthen your connections to St. Mary's and with your fellow alums. We grow these through purposeful and enjoyable social, professional, and educational opportunities. We hope that you will continue to come back home to St. Mary's. Please know that you are always welcome. We encourage you to stay connected with the lifelong friends you've made, along with the caring faculty and staff you have come to know and appreciate. We also encourage you to attend events hosted by St. Mary's, wherever and however they might occur. To each of you, and to all of you, we're proud of everything you have accomplished. Please continue to let us know of these successes so that we can celebrate with you. St. Mary's has been your university, and now it is your alma mater, and there will always be a place here for you. We are excited to see you move into the next chapters of your life as you advance your careers and passions inspire others with whom you work, and become leaders in your communities. I wish each of you the very best. Congratulations on your many accomplishments. Thank you, Mr. Pajak. Before concluding this very unique commencement ceremony, I would like the graduates to join me in recognizing some very important groups of people who are with us. Some family members who are likely in the same room this evening, participating in this celebration, and many more who are joining us virtually from the comfort and safety of their own homes. While I salute you on earning a degree from St. Mary's University of Minnesota, we all know that this is neither a singular nor a solitary achievement. Therefore, I invite you, the graduates, in your mind and in your heart, and perhaps later with an email note, to acknowledge and recognize those who've been your mentors, teachers, and scholars for these past few years. There's another very special group of people whose love and concern, patience and prayers, has contributed much to you being a St. Mary's graduate as of this hour. I invite you to show your grateful appreciation to your spouses, partners, parents, family members, and loved ones. As we move toward the end of our ceremony, and as is our custom, I invite us all to take a moment now to enjoy the university's alma mater.
Our closing prayer will be offered by Brother Stephen Markham, Vice President for Mission and Ministry. As we bring closure to this ceremony, we again pause and remember we live in the holy presence of God. From the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11, for I know the plans I have in mind for you, declares the Lord. While this passage can provide us hope, it certainly tests our faith as well. Our world is currently anxious, fearful, and uncertain. Together, we pray for grace and wisdom that we may be a positive force for justice and peace in our world. The following passage from 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7 can provide consolation while also testing our faith. Cast all your anxiety on Jesus Christ because he cares for you. May God, who began this good work in you, carry it through to completion enabling you to use your talents to the fullest. May God bless you with the grace to make wise choices, always confident in the support of those who love you. May you know the blessings of discomfort at easy answers, half-truths, and superficial relationships so that you will live deep within your heart. May God bless you with the gift of compassion for those who suffer pain, rejection, starvation, fear, and violence, so that you will reach out to comfort them, walk with them, and assure them that they are not alone. May God bless you with the gift of integrity, and may your integrity be a gift to the world. Graduates of the class of 2020, know we are proud of you, we care for you, and we ask God to bless you as you begin a new chapter in your life as treasured members of St. Mary's University of Minnesota Global Family. May the Spirit of God be with you always. Amen. Thank you, Brother Stephen. On behalf of the faculty, administration, staff, and trustees of the university, we wish all our graduates good health and much success and happiness in your life and work. Thank you all for joining us from locations near and far in the United States and around the world. This concludes our first ever virtual Schools of Graduate and Professional Programs commencement ceremony. Again, congratulations and best wishes from all of us to all of you, graduates, spouses, partners, children, and grandchildren, parents, families, alums, and friends of St. Mary's University of Minnesota. Until we're able to continue the celebration and welcome you all back to celebrate in person, we wish you all good health and God's comfort and peace in the days ahead. May God continue to bless you and your loved ones, and may God continue to bless this university and its important mission. Good evening. <laughs>